So Sony has revealed its next-gen virtual reality system called the PlayStation VR2 or the PSVR2 and the new VR controller has been officially named the PlayStation VR2 Sense controller. Well in this video we are bringing you the latest PSVR2 updates including the PSVR price, the release date and the pre-order info. It goes without saying this new VR headset will be in high demand and you will need to be quick if you want to get these on its launch date. So whether you are planning to upgrade your PSVR headset to this latest latest model or you are buying the VR headset for the first time, here you will find all you need to know about the PSVR 2, the release date, the price, the games and where to buy it. We've also detailed out the PSVR 2 specifications so you can decide if this will be the virtual reality headset for you. Well let's dive in. For the release date, PSVR 2 is officially releasing on the 22nd February 2023, according to the PlayStation blog. It will also be releasing alongside with the PSVR 2 Sense controller and its charging station on the same day. As the release date for Sony's new VR headset keeps getting closer, more and more devs are announcing their lineups of games for it. Recently, the Radio Go Games announced that after the fall will be rolled out for the PSVR 2 on the 22nd February 2023. And the news comes via an official press release and the developer also unveiled a trailer for the same. And as promised, pre-orders for the PSVR 2 are now live. The pre-sale is exclusive to PlayStation's online store. News about the other retailers like the Amazon and the GameStop is awaited. Players can head over the official PlayStation store and register for pre-orders. The registration process had kicked off earlier in November after the headset's price and release date was unveiled. Several players who registered during this time have already received the link to the pre-order window. For the price, PSVR will cost $549. This includes the headset, the controllers, and the stereo headphones. The PSVR 2 Horizon Call of the Mountain bundle will cost $599. This includes the headset, the controller, stereo headphones, and the voucher code for the game. And the PSVR 2 charging station will cost $49.99. From where we are standing, the bundle is actually pretty good value for money. Let's take a closer look at the headset itself so you can decide whether it's worth it though. As discussed above, Sony has recently shown off the design of the PSVR 2 which reveals a sleeker and more modern looking headset than its predecessor. Sony has also noted this new headset features a slightly reduced weight in contrast to the last generation alongside confirming the future of adjustable lenses and an intriguing new vent design and a mechanism to stop the lens from steaming up. For the specs, new details were announced on the PlayStation blog as to the specs of the PSVR 2 and they did not disappoint. It looks like we are getting OLED displays with frame rates up to 120Hz with a 110 degree field of view. We are also getting a massive 2000 by 2040 resolution per eye, a marked improvement on the original PSVR headset that comes in the form of two separate displays as opposed to one larger 4080 panel. Now for the controller specs. And much more like the PS5, with its dual sense compared to the DualShock 4, it looks like we're getting an overhaul to the original PSVR controllers too. The new controllers will feature haptic feedback and adaptive triggers which should provide a much more tactile, immersive experience than before, alongside Bluetooth with 5.1 connectivity and the ability to charge via USB Type-C. For the PSVR 2 games, the PSVR headset is expected to come with 20 plus games at launch, according to previous briefing from Sony, and the expectation is that these will be a blend of the first party and the third party games. One game we know is the Horizon Call of the Mountain from Guerrilla and a Fire Sprite which is being built exclusively for the PSVR 2. And some of the people have already played the Horizon Call of the Mountain and most have come way impressed. According to the Jay Peters, one of the journalists that have played already, he says that the sense of the skill in the game is amazing. Other games confirmed by Sony becoming to the next gen VR gaming headset includes the Resident Evil Village, The Walking Dead, Satan Sinners Chapter 2, Retribution and Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge Enhanced Edition. Resident Evil Village is particularly exciting as the console version nearly perfect and one of our favorite games of 2021. The PSVR 2 will feature the entire single player campaign which is a major win for the PSVR 2 headset. Finally, Sony followed up with the PlayStation VR 2 announced on November 2nd, 2022 with the announcement that 11 games are coming to the PSVR 2. While these are all smaller in hype than the previous announced for 4 games, it does bring to the total of confirmed that the games will be up to 15, many of which we can pre-order alongside the PSVR 2 headset on November 15. Here are some of the biggest titles so far confirmed. Horizon Call of the Mountain, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 4, VR, No Man's Sky, Star Wars, Tale from the Galaxy's Edge, The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners 2, Samurai Slaughterhouse, Firewall Ultra, Among Us VR, The Dark Pictures, Switchback VR, Crossfire, Sierra 
Squad, The Lights Brigade, Cities VR, Cosmonius High, Hello Neighbor, Search and Rescue, Jurassic World Aftermath Collection, Crystal Whip VR, Zenith The Last City, After the Fall, and Tentacular. And one more thing, Sony recently announced that the PSVR 2 will not be backward compatible and will not be able to play games from the current PSVR. Having the ability to play all the PSVR games will have made the headset more versatile and it may be possible for some of the games to upskill their PS5 so they also look better on PSVR on what should have been much more powerful headset. Ultimately, the fate of the PSVR 2 will come down to whether or not the next gen headset is truly a next gen. If Sony provides us with a PlayStation VR headset that provides the ultimate virtual reality gaming experience, users will overlook the higher price point. Sure, exactly. After all that, 499, the Meta Quest 2 isn't drastically cheaper and isn't nearly as optimized for gaming. But if the PSVR is largely iterative, users may find it a struggle to pay over the thousand dollars for a headset and a PS5 as well. They may simply stick with the PS5 and enter the world of virtual reality when it comes to more affordable to do so. So, what's your thoughts right now? Will you be upgrading to the new? PSVR 2 while we wait for more news put it in the comment below for whatever your thoughts in the games will be like anyways thanks for watching this is TGT bye for now